Hey guys, what's up? I sec the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the Town Hall 10 attacks from the DL War, and um, don't have that many to show just because uh, Town Hall 10s uh, was kind of uneventful, mainly two stars, had one three star to show, uh, but if you want to see some Town Hall 10 action, you can go back and watch uh, the deciding Town Hall 10 three star video, which I did like two videos back, so um, that was their three stars in our bases, which kind of made the difference. So uh, be sure to check that out for more Town Hall 10 action. Anyway, though, for this one, we're going to take a look at one two-star and one three-star. So Atoma, which is, you know, he's kind of a somewhat new Town Hall 10. Uh, Queen's 39, King's 30, so not, not very close to max heroes by any means, especially on the King. Um, and it's, it's important for our Town Hall 10s to be able to consistently get two-stars on their Town Hall 10s because... For a while, you would see Town Hall 10s running the anti-3 star bases with the Town Hall like in some random spot just as a high HP building. But what people have realized is that makes it the Town Hall 9s able to 2 star, and you don't want that because uh, you want to make a Town Hall 10 have to waste one of their attacks 2 starring the base. Um, and uh, Atoma uh, gets the job done here because it's, it's necessary. I mean, a Town Hall uh, 9 did not have a free attack, and even if they did, they would not be able to... I mean, they might have a shot, but they would be difficult to two-star this base. So uh, Atoma come in here and gets a very high percentage two-star, uh, which is very nice to see. And um, like I said, a percentage can uh, be the tiebreaker if it gets close. And it was it was very close, not quite tied. But um, I, I don't know if we had them on percentage, by the way. But um, either way, very nice attack, getting high 70%. Uh, comes in with the queen walk and uh, basically is just clearing out this whole compartment. I don't think the CC troops have come out yet, but I think if she steps up, they'll come out. Oh, maybe not. Uh, but has the Rage spell. You can see she's taken uh, damage from three-point defense. So even under Rage, uh, she's, you know, not being healed to full health, really. She's just kind of hovering. Uh, but takes out these defenses, gets back to full health. And then here comes the King. I like the Poison because might have had to drop a Rage or a, another, or use the ability just because... Um, the king was level 40 and the, and the one rage was wearing off, but drops the poison and that really decreases uh, the amount of uh, attacks he does per second DPS. So uh, very nice there. Has the wall breakers to kind of let her out. So um, she's cleared out a huge section of, a huge section of this base and uh, now she can basically just leave and continue on her walk around the base. So very, very well planned out here. Has even a few more wall breakers uh, that's going to open up this compartment as she continues her walk around the base, taking out these trash buildings, getting percentage. We'll fast forward just a tiny bit, just for sake of time. But uh, basically, two point defense on her, not that big of a deal. Uh, she's still staying up, and then she takes out that cannon in the Archer Tower. So, very high value there. Uh, now, just coming in with golems and pekkas, and they're basically just walking straight into that town hall. Um, out, of the, out of the CC comes a Lava Hound, but it doesn't matter because uh, those are all just the ground targeting troops, so it's just going to be stuck there doing nothing. Uh, they take down the Inferno real quickly, and then they take out the Town Hall, and then basically they just hop into the next compartment. Now, this actually might have had a chance at a three-star, uh, but the problem is the healers are on the uh, the troops by the Inferno, and the Inferno doesn't quite go down, so the healing effects are blocked, and that's kind of what cost him, I think. Um, maybe other factors as well, just didn't quite have the juice to get it done. But that was the main thing that stood out to me. And then the air defense takes out those healers. Uh, the king comes over and does eventually get onto that uh, inferno tower and take it down. Uh, but by then, most of the tanks are busted up and the king's on his own for the most part, uh, besides just a golem or two left next to him. And they're going to go down real quickly with all the point defense on them. And obviously, if the heroes had stayed on the queen, maybe they would have uh, kept her up for the rest of this walk. So uh, she goes down in the top right and then everything else is pretty much finished. Uh, but very, very nice attack. Uh, for a two star, by a two star standard anyway, uh, getting seventy nine percent, which um, as I showed in the last video with uh, predators attack is very very uh, high percentage for a two star. So uh, finally, we get to take a look at that one town hall ten attack that we did get. Obviously, this was the difference between us and them. Uh, they got three town hall ten, three stars, and we only got one. But uh, this was a pretty nice one by predator. Obviously, not the highest level base, kind of a town hall nine with the air defenses, or two of them at least, maxed out. Um, and then I believe the Teslas were maxed, plus the Queen's a little higher than usual uh, at level 32, I think. So um, 
new Town Hall 10, but still, uh, Predators, you know, doesn't have max heroes. He's at 39-30, uh, so not like he's a max Town Hall 10 taking this out, which makes it even even better just because Town Hall 10 three stars are hard even when you have level 40-40 heroes. Um, but anyway, starts off with the Queen Walk, uh, finals her nice uh, and down to the south, taking out these cannons, um, dropping the wall breakers, that's going to let her into this second air defense um, and get it taken out. So uh, she gets a little bit low right here, but he has the rage uh, to keep her up for these heroes and then went then the archer tower very low right there but um trusts the healers it's only one point defense so he uh he knows that the queen's not going to go down right there and then has the rage once she gets in range of the enemy heroes uh takes down the king and she'll step up and take out the queen as well uh which goes down very quickly and then has the air defense handy right there um at this point basically he's gonna let the queen continue her walk uh she takes out this elixir storage and then comes down to the pump. We'll fast forward just a tiny bit. Um, and then comes in here with the balloons. Uh, basically just uh, out in front of the Lava Hound. Just to get them started. Doesn't want to waste any tanking. And then comes in here with the Lava Hounds. The balloons. Didn't even drop his king. But um, uh, wanted to wait on him. So the uh, the king could get in there and take out the Inferno Tower. I am kind of forgetting a little bit of this. Just because I, I watched the attack during the war itself. And I, I didn't really take a look at it again before I started this, so apologize for that. But anyway, the king is coming in. He's going to take out the CC troops. The hound isn't an issue for him, obviously. And then he barely gets in there, and he does just get the inferno with his barbarians. Uh, so the inferno's down, and then obviously the La Luna attack was going on while this was happening. Had the haste spells, uh, the balloons, everything making its way through. They kind of bypassed that one inferno, uh, but it's only level one, and it doesn't do a whole lot of damage to the balloons. So even though they have no spells left, they're just going to kind of limp their way over there and get that Inferno taken out. I mean, it's <laughs> it, it's it's getting them pretty low, but uh, these balloons get over there, and a few of them crash, but a few of them do get some drops off, and that Inferno goes down. Uh, the Queen does drop, and uh, the healers are just kind of left standing there. Doesn't have a whole lot of cleanup, but has a few pups, a few minions, and it's enough to get the three stars. So awesome attack to Predator, uh, representing our Town Hall 10s in this video. Um, and the only Town Hall 10 3 stars, so uh, very nice stuff there. Anyway, though, that's the video, uh, just two attacks, and I'll get to the Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 8s um, in my next two videos, so stay tuned for that. Had some awesome ones there. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sucky Tron out.